my name is Satoshi Ozawa, majoring in economics, and I participated in the uh, World Students Environmental Summit this year in Germany. Wow. And um, the World Students Environmental Network involve more than 400 students from all over the world. That really inspired me to work on really a world sustainable development. Mm -hmm. And why are you involved in the World Student Network? Uh, Actually, last year I participated as a delegate of the network, and this year I started to work as a core staff. And first, like I was, I got interested about the carbon dioxide emission, and uh, about the Japanese government. So that was the first reason why I applied to this summit. Yes. And what do you think, as young Japanese people, of your government's uh, reducing the carbon emissions target? To be honest, uh, there are not many uh, university students who are really interested in, about these issues. So what we want to do is make them to get interested about these issues and trying to invite them to this network to know much about this. Thank you. And how has the network um, uh, changed how other students think? Have you managed to involve many students from around the world? Right. Um, <clears throat> I really met uh, more than 200 students in Germany. Um, I think I'm the only one, I'm the uh, really one that inspired to work on world students, uh, you know, development. So it's not a, like, it's not a I did inspired many people. I was really inspired. And mm -hmm. how does, what does the World Student Network uh, lobby for at these talks? What would you like to see achieved? What uh, we don't, um, the biggest goal for us is making the practical campaign for each university. So, for in our university's case, we have the com a campaign called Doshisha Echo Project. So, uh, for example, two years ago there was a festival in our our campus. At that time, uh, we used plastic wooden chopsticks, which is just for which can just use for once. But at that time, we I try to change it to the plastic one that means that we can use for every year that which, which can be recycled every every time fantastic can you give us some more examples of the kind of things that you've been campaigning for as part of the world student network okay um to be honest with you I'm not in the um doshas on um, eco eco project but um did you talk about the eco project e yeah. plus project okay. Okay, I'm gonna ex explain the E Plus project. E Plus project is um the work that involves more um more than 20 elementary school students that is in Kyoto area. Our purpose is to um give the inspiration for children to know the sustainable projects in Japan. And uh, outside of Japan, mm -hmm. at these talks, what kind of um uh, what kind of action would you like to see come out of them? Do you think that young people can uh, influence the talks? Talks the, 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 the climate change meeting here mm -hmm. has been going quite slowly. Um, Japan's one of the countries that's reduced its emissions. Um, <laughs> mm -hmm. what, what's the young people's message to the talks, to the world leaders, I suppose, or ministers? Well, that's a really difficult question. Yeah. So, um, <clears throat> To be honest with you, I don't think there's many things that we can do, we young people do, but in 20 years, 30 years, there's a lot of things we can work on in the world. So I think um, one of the uh, most important things to do for young people is to learn and see young leaders in the world to do something in the future. Fantastic. And what do you think? Do you think, uh, are you frustrated at the progress of, 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 of action on climate change? Um. Actually, this is just my own opinion. How um, I think the current um, decision makers are just to not—they are not really thinking about the practical ways. But as uh, as we are perspective leader of this COP or this kind of international meetings, I. I I think like we're trying to make some more practical ways that which can be really used and adapt. So it's really students studying and making up the solutions of the future. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you.